Oh no, 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 another stillborn baby. My gosh, that would have been 17 good babies. What a bummer. Whoa, geez, show Pete's mama. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. We are at the Reptarium, and we're gonna have an amazing day. What do you say we have a great day together? One of the things that I am gonna do today is try to finish up these displays over here. For the last few weeks, we've had a hard time kind of getting the time to actually finish these up, so I want animals in. If you come to the Reptarium this weekend, I want you to see some really cool stuff. I've got most of the cages done, but I've got the bottom two cages over here, a few cages on the other side. We definitely have to get to this alligator tank and get this finished up today, so we have our work cut out for us, but it, it's gonna be absolutely incredible. Just downstairs and seeing this, which does not look too promising, but maybe it won't be that bad. Of course, this is a Colombian rainbow boa, and she has some babies, but you see what these guys are here? I've told you about these before. These are what they call infertile ova, which means that they're infertilized live babies, essentially is what it is. But we do have a couple animals here. I don't know what's going on. It looks like this one right here has some pretty, ooh, it's a feisty little monkey even though it has a big yolk sac. I think this one's actually gonna be okay. Uh, again, this one right here looks like it has a big yolk sac too, but it looks like it's gonna be okay. I do see a few babies over here and a whole bunch of infertile ova as well. So uh, pretty much not looking like a really good litter of babies, but this one is gonna be okay. I'll really gently lift this guy up here as well. Get him in here. So that's two good babies. Uh, again, lots of infertile ova. Oh my gosh. Let's see if there's any good babies in here besides a couple over here. Watch out, mama. Okay, I'm sorry, girl. Okay, it definitely looks like there's a baby here. This one looks really good, no problem. There's four babies right here. Let's see, okay, mama, don't, don't bite me, mama. Don't bite me, I'm okay. Okay, let's just look through here real quick. Look at all these infertile eggs. Oh, jeez. Oh, and I just squished one in my fingers. That's really gross. Ugh. It looks like that's it, guys. Four babies. What in the world, mama? You definitely didn't do good. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, infernal over. My gosh, that would have been 17 good babies. What a bummer. And I'm not really sure why, what happened with the fertility. Could have been a heat issue. Could have been a female issue. I, who knows what happens. Regardless, that's a lot of potential babies. But hey, we got four good babies. It could be worse, right? So, so these little monkeys here look pretty awesome. Oh, they're feisty too. It's okay, little guys. You're all right. So hey, what can you do? That's part of the ups and downs of breeding snakes. In the meantime, we'll get this female cleaned up and we'll get her some food. You did okay, mom. I'm sorry going through oh there's a little baby here oh looks like uh look at those look good whoa it's okay well it looks like there's five babies not just four babies whoa geez show pete's mama relax oh and there's a whole bunch more infertile eggs over whoa geez that's okay relax relax all right, so she would have had a really big litter. That was 17 infertile and five good babies. Oh, I wish they were good, but hey, still five good babies again. I'm not gonna complain. Back to the Reptarium, and I just gotta keep on pressing forward and getting stuff done. This is what I'm kind of thinking when it comes to these cages. I'm thinking this backdrop right here. So all I have to do is kind of push this in here. I think I'm gonna just, you know, I can just glue that in, silicone it in. And then I'm thinking this rock here will look pretty cool right in this area here. Just kind of a finish, you know, a lot of these have the entire wrap around from side to side but I think this one will be kind of cool to leave it just kind of this way somehow fill it up right here we can put some kind of cool substrate down something like that some plants and I think that that cage is gonna look pretty good when it comes to this one what I was thinking is something similar rather than having a wrap around all the way around maybe have this big rock formation that goes like right in there and just push right to the edge like this so that there's this big rock formation then I can actually kind of glue this to the side here here maybe and just have a really good kind of cool terracing effect again some plants and so on like that you know kind of get things going then I have to figure out these ones here I haven't even really thought a whole lot about that yet but uh, that gives you an idea what I'm thinking about for those cages at least and Mary came to me again another live birth but this time a Kenyan sand boa hopefully this litter will be better than that Colombian rainbow boa we'll see what's going on she's a big old mama you okay mama 
All right, girl. It's good. Oh my gosh, look at there is a lot of babies in here. Who doggy? That's a lot of babies. I think I'm gonna go ahead and move this mama out so that I can get to these babies. You okay, sweetheart? Let's go find you a place to sit for just a minute. You did so good, mama. Oh my gosh. It looks like there's a bunch of babies. And here we go. Take a look at all of these babies right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh, oh no, 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 no. Another stillborn baby, oh my gosh. Please let there, oh, another stillborn baby. What is going on? Oh, and it looks like there's this one too. Three stillborn babies in this litter. Oh my gosh, I hope the rest are okay. The rest look like they're going really good. Oh my gosh, it's just one of those days and I've always told you guys, I share the good, the bad, the ugly with you guys. I'm not just gonna share you all the triumphs. When you're working with animals, these things happen. When you're breeding snakes, sometimes you get amazing litters, sometimes you get bad litters, sometimes you get great hatches, sometimes you get bad hatches. It's all part of it. Fortunately, we've got three little stillborns here. They look perfectly formed and I always wonder like what happens you have a perfectly formed baby and then when she delivers them they are stillborn like what went wrong I have no idea but let's go ahead and try to end this as positive as we can we have a bunch of live little spunky babies we want to pull out and here we go here's this little feisty monkey here look at how cute it is oh my gosh that's one two three oh my gosh I love little baby sandboas four five look at these guys Okay, five. Oh, here we go. Six. And here's a little infertile ova here, too. There's only one of these so far, a little infertile ova. Okay, so far we've got six. We've got seven. Eight babies so far. Not too bad. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. Another little stillborn. Oh, no. Okay, we got nine babies. These all look really good so far. Nine babies. Oh, there's something else moving over here. 10 babies. Oh, there's two more. There's 11 babies. 11 babies. Come on, get in there, monkey. Oh, look at this, 12. 13. 13 so far. Oh my gosh. Get in there, sweetheart. Stay in there, buddy. 13, let's see, that might be it. 13, no, nope, look, 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 there's another one. There's a 14th baby. 14 babies, oh my gosh. 14, 14, looks like that's it guys. 14 beautiful babies. Again, yeah, we had a handful of stillborns. The Columbian Rainbows had some stillborns, but hey, we still got 14 live baby sand boas. Oh my gosh, that means she actually had 18 babies total and infertile, 19 babies. That is a huge litter for some Kenyan sand boas. Oh my God, these guys are so cute. I couldn't be more happy that there's 14 live babies. Again, that's part of breeding. You're not gonna always have 100% perfect litters or clutches but in the end we got 14 beautiful live baby sand boas so this is what I have so far I cut this piece right here to kind of go in here we'll just have to silicone that in I kind of like the big ledge terracing thing over here this is actually just cork back here but I figure if I like kind of attach this piece here and this piece below it it's gonna have kind of again a nice kind of rocky terracing the cork bark we'll do some vines and some tree work and then lastly I'm gonna try to put this in actually wrap this around this whole thing uh, we'll see how it goes definitely not going to be easy but hopefully it'll look really good you know it looks a little crazy right now because I have all these braces in here but this is basically exactly what I was hoping for kind of a cool contoured look like this I think it worked out really good uh, basically what I did is I spray foam behind all of it you can see all the little spray foam right here all the little cracks and crevices now this just has to dry and then I can go in and kind of fix it out a little more but uh but I like it I think it turned out exactly the way I was hoping I think these are turning out really good I really like this one here you can see the great bone is expansion and what happens is if you can actually push the great foam that expansional foam onto something like that it will literally adhere when it dries I mean this will be like a rock you could not get it off there so uh, I'm just getting so excited I mean this cage is looking awesome too definitely making a lot of progress here I just cannot wait to get animals back in these things uh, we should have all of these set up today so we are doing really well Lori is overworking on the alligator tank she is almost done this side's completely done. Lori is still working on this side here. Just kind of patching it up. It's looking so, so good. Uh, with any luck, tomorrow or the next day we get the sump pump for the filter for the gator tanks. We are on 
on track. Again, I just want this weekend to kind of have more animals than last weekend, so uh, we are getting there. I suppose one of the perks of the job working at BHB is that you guys get to get pics of what you want. <laughs> what happens is when we hatch certain things that Eric and Mary are like excited about, they immediately put this on there. I used to think that that was like, you know, put that, get that on the website real quick. So, uh, so these guys are actually taking what, four snakes today? Four right. snakes today. What are you guys getting? This is a female banana pewter. She's my favorite. Look at that thing. That thing is beautiful. Had to have it. <laughs> it's like Cold Stone. Yeah. Gotta have it. Gotta, right, have, gotta it. have it. And you can't just have one. You can't you know? just have one. Well, okay, so what else you got? Dude, this thing here is insane. Ooh, doggy, that one is it's, a it's beauty. It's a pastel and cheap banana, yeah, right? Oh, a, pastel just or a banana just a banana and, banana and, and, and cheese. Oh my <laughs> Look gosh, so. at. That. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, I might have to keep that one. No, so. yeah, that's why I didn't want to show you. Put it in the back. Put it in the back. All right, what else? Oh. All right, the third one. Oh, look at that. Um, I've always, my whole life, I remember opening up a book. I had a normal ball python years ago, and I seen a picture of a clown ball python. Man, I've got to get one of those. I can finally afford one, man. Oh you know what I gosh, mean? So, that's awesome. Dude, that's, that's, that's the boy? Yes. Yes. Okay. And then you guys got a girl, you got too, a right? got a girl. A little bit more reduced pattern on her. Right. I don't want you to get too good of a look at it, man. I'm surprised <laughs> you didn't keep this one back. I remember as soon as we hatched this one, these guys are like, oh, I want Yeah, that. yeah. Okay, so that's a female. F oh a female God. clown. Yeah, I don't know head. if you would consider this like a blade clown yeah, because of the blade, reduced yeah. reduced yeah. pattern. Exactly. But uh, exactly. she is a stunner, man. We're so excited to raise these guys up and work right. with them. And Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Well, I'm excited for them, too. <laughs> I love it that the fact that my crew loves animals as much as I do. Good for you guys. I'm glad <laughs> you guys. Yeah. And I figured you'd want to know what these these guys are taking home so uh, good job guys thank, thank you. you so we're basically gonna end the night at the Reptarium with a special kind of offering uh, it's kind of like a fear snake handling type of class that we're doing capping it at 10 people so we got 10 people coming tonight we're just gonna kind of get acquainted with handling snakes some people that aren't quite is like comfortable with it we're gonna try to make them comfortable we're gonna have a good time so again keep an eye on the reptarium.com because we're having special events all the time and uh, it's really a great thing it's a great opportunity to get here and just spend a little more one-on-one -on -one time so we're gonna have a good time and that's the way we're gonna end the day as we're getting things ready we actually had Steve come in and you asked me a, a rather peculiar question what was it asked if you had another albino person come in to check out any of your albino animals uh, and the answer is, of course, no. So Steve is the first albino that I've ever had in the reptarium. And you're albino, but you don't have the red eyes. No, I was lucky enough to develop some pigmentation in my retinas where it's a really cool gray-blue color, but I'm still super light sensitive. I have to have special sunglasses to go outside. You know, light is a big deal for me. So. Wow, that is crazy. I mean, you know, again, I, I, to me, it's like, awesome i mean maybe i shouldn't have that reaction i have no idea what the proper etiquette is but i think it's cool i mean i, I don't know that makes you really unique i mean the hair is amazing i, I love mean, it it's, it's fascinating it's, it's, it's amazing so welcome to the reptarium thank you and so uh thank you for being the first albino absolutely it's my honor <laughs> so this is the very first snake that you held yes so you said you had a bearded dragon right uh yeah i got him on one day oh you just got your bearded dragon oh my gosh so you're a fresh reptile person and this is your first snake what what was your thought? I don't know. I mean, like, I know that Helen's really friendly because I watch you all the time on YouTube. And this is actually uh, one of the snakes that I was hoping to be able to help. That's awesome. So, well, you're doing a good job. I'm so happy you got a chance to, to kind of hold your first snake here at the Reptarium. All right, just wrapped up that little course. We spent about an hour, hour and a half or so just hanging out, getting people that had never handled snakes, maybe a little tentative about snakes. I wouldn't say anyone that was here was fearful of snakes, but there were definitely some people that weren't really experienced, had never handled the snake, and they just wanted to know, and that was absolutely amazing. I love doing these small groups like this because it's super, super cool, and everyone that came was so absolutely amazing, had a blast. So keep an eye on the reptarium.com if you're interested in something like this because we're gonna continue to do this. I don't wanna just be open to the public and that's it. I want to do as many events like this as I possibly can, so always keep an eye on it. As for now, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog and wish you guys an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. As always, I tell you guys your support means the world to me, and I really, truly, truly, truly love you guys to death. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on. Leave a comment down below so I can read about you beautiful people. Be kind to someone, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, and uh, I might have went a little crazy with the foam. Oh my God, there's supposed to be no foam showing at all. Oops.
take the expandable foam away from me next time. <laughs> Double vlog bonus. <laughs> it's been a while since I've walked through the Reptarium, just put the lights out, figured I'd show you guys as always. I do this every night by myself. The gator tank finally looking like a gator tank. These guys all looking done, which is absolutely amazing. Around the corner, we got these displays basically done. Oh my God, I love this place so much. Oh, it's like a dream come true, guys. Dead serious. Lucy, what's up, girl? Sorry, we're sleeping. All right, vlog's over now. Face up.